Hello everyone, how's it going? So uh, I just want to go over what we've been doing and if you have been following along of the past few videos, we've been cranking up videos about text detection, text recognition, reading text all over here and there. So the reason behind that is because I had this project in mind and I wanted to create a robust system, a robust system which could read text from books like these. And the reason I brought up, came up with this idea was um, I read about this in news, especially with what's going on with the coronavirus, with the lockdown and the schools getting shut down. So normally people are all going on to the online classes. People are using Zoom and other conferences to go through their classes. But people who are visually impaired, the special needs children, they are having issues because no one was no one planned for this no one knew what to do in the, these circumstances so there are not many systems in place that can help people who are visually impaired people who don't know uh, it's who's diff having difficulty in reading a text so uh, this is a system which is hopefully going to help uh, and uh, if someone can take it up and you know make a good production product out of this so the idea is you could place a book place a book in front of a camera and you can use your amazon alexa device to read the text out of these books so i'll show you a quick demo and uh, we're going to see how we can make this on our own so i will delete this let's open up this folder so what i did was i create i took a few pictures from the book so you'll see uh, these are all images from the children's book and it has all these text in it the reason I chose this children's book is because it has too much of noise in it there's very little text and a lot of images which are colored images which makes it even more difficult for uh, normal systems to work and this would be the best test case scenario for our project so you can see how small the text is compared to the whole image and this is how you could take images of the pages you want to read and pass to the program so uh, we have a couple of images to test upon you can see there is a different type of font there's too much of noise in the image noise in the sense uh, which is the area any information that is not what you're looking for is noise so these colored images these colored objects in the page is all noise and these are all issues that could come arise in order when you're trying to do a text detection but uh, we will see how the program works efficiently and uh, we can detect these text out of these images so uh, I'll show you how we can run it on a command prompt so this is the program let's read image number two and you will see how it comes up let's give it a few seconds because there is a Tesseract uh, image recognition library running in the background and this is how it works so you can see the text it's only a two line sentence but it uh, it's almost reading it accurately and uh, it's able to give out the text properly we'll try another image uh, just let's try image number four so this is another page from possibly from the same book or maybe another book I don't remember let's see how it comes out and you may find any you'll want to go down in that case of course you'll head straight out of town so that's good so it's working out fine in this page as well uh, there is some issues with uh, the gaps here it's uh, taking it as a line I don't know for some reason probably there is too much of space here between these lines and that's the reason uh, but the text what it reads is almost good uh, we can read let's take another image image zero and see how it comes up let's give it a few more seconds and it should come up now okay so here it says time to snuggle up good night so these this is coming out almost perfectly and the text recognition is working out very nicely uh, now let's see how we can pair this program with our Amazon Alexa device 
so I'll open up this page here I tried this uh, and this is a very simple program what you need to do is take these four libraries and if you need help in installing these I went over flask and flask ask in my previous video I'll put the description in the link in the description box so that you can go to the link and see how we can install flask ask but uh, it's a very well known library then you should be able to find uh, the installation instructions on Google it's pretty easy but if you have doubts leave a comment in the below and I'll be happy to help you so you're using flask which is a micro web services you know, which is which will create that web server between the Amazon Alexa services and your computer flask ask is nothing but the module which is going to help Amazon Alexa communicate with your program so you can tell what you want Alexa to read Py Tesseract is nothing but the Python binding for the Tesseract uh, text recognition application and CV2 is nothing but OpenCV and the task of OpenCV here is just to read the image and do a little bit of image processing but that's about it the main heavy lifting is what the Tesseract is going to do here for us uh, these two are nothing but the modules you're going to be using flask to just to define your server and ask is nothing but setting up your flask ask module so uh, when alexa tries to read your program or read your python program it notes where it has to read and this ask is nothing but going to guide alexa into what it has to do when a particular invocation is called so the next step would be to ask dot launch this is nothing but the welcome the the initial the start page like the home page of alexa where of your skill so alexa is nothing but it's, it's a set of skills like in your android or your iphone you have your apps in alexa it is nothing but skills and launch ask.launch is nothing but the home page of your skill so what happens when that skill is being called or initialized so you can define it as a def start uh, skill and this is the welcome message that you would want Alexa to read you can define whatever you want here in my case I said what do you want me to read so with the moment I call the skill uh, Alexa will greet and say what do you want me to read and at that point I can tell what page I want Alexa to read so in this case I, I've put down image 0 which is going to be the first image that we are going to be reading and I put this down as a yes intent uh, this I think I copied from the previous program so it just, I didn't care to change it but I can change it to image intent image 0 intent it doesn't matter it's just uh, defining in your application and it goes with this intent so whenever image zero intent is called in your Alexa dog scale this particular function is going to be executed and the first step is going to be reading the image so I'm going to be reading the image uh, CV which is here image zero and uh, this is nothing but in the folder images as I had shown uh, this is the folder images this is the folder images and uh, it's going to be reading one of these images from here so i'm going to pass the name of the image as images image 0.jpg and rgb so the reason we are doing this is because opencv normally reads any image as a bgr sorry as a bgr image but tesseract and all other applications are designed on rgb so it's nothing but uh, the matrices how the image is represented in case of OpenCV it it is represented in the BGR format but for Tesseract you need it in the RGB format so for that reason we are changing BGR to RGB in this step and we're using convert color and on the original image and I'm changing it and saving it back into image RGB and the once your RGB image is uh, converted you want to pass it to the Py Tesseract module and this you can use the image to string and pass your image so what it does is it takes this image reads it and converts the value into a string variable and it stores into this variable called text you can print the text 
so we know what it is and you can return question text the reason you're using question text so what it does is the moment you say return question and and you're passing text in the question it's nothing but telling Alexa what to read so whatever text that was detected in this step is going to be read by Alexa and we are using the word question here is because question allows Alexa to wait for another response or another query uh, you can you also use statement but statement once Alexa reads that text it will stop and you'll have to restart the skill to come back and read but uh, I want to continue so that we can pass other uh, uh, images it can you can ask Alexa to read other uh, pages on your book so we will put it as a question and we'll save it and this is nothing but defining your main Python program and you're running the flask server by calling this app dot run and you're calling it at port 7045 this is nothing but your server port number 7045 and we're putting it as debug true it's because it will allow us to make changes while the program is running we'll see how we can use that in in a few minutes so this is the simple program you can see it's only 23 lines of code and I'll be putting the code uh, on my github soon so you can take it from there and I'll leave the link in the description but you can see how simple it is and it's pretty easy to set it up now we'll go into Alexa services so you can go into the developer developer dot Amazon Alexa and you can uh, log in with your uh, account details now you want to make sure that using you're using the same account to log in at which you which you have your Amazon Alexa device registered so whatever your Alexa device is registered on the same account the same email account should be used in order to log into your developer.amazon.com and once you go into the Alexa developer console you'll come up with all these different types of skills and you can see text reader is one of the skills which I had created and I was testing the function but I'll show you how we can do it from scratch by clicking on create skill and the moment you create skill you can say uh, you can give a name we'll see page we'll tell page reader page reader and you can say in this case it's going to be asking you for uh, all your modules how you want to set up your skill so in this case I'm going to be putting it as custom because we are defining our own Python program and it's asking you to for the back end we're going to be providing our own there are other options where you can use Amazon services to host your program but in our case we are running on our own flask server and we will be providing our own domain so we'll use this in this case once this is done create skill it will take a few seconds to uh, develop and run the skill now you're building and we're going to be using start from scratch they have some very good uh, templates that we can use if you're making something you know more commercially but in our case we're going to be using start from scratch and we'll click on choose and the first step you want to make sure is the invocation name is set so we call it as a page reader so whenever you call Alexa page reader the, your program will open up and this is where it's defined the intents that is where you define your intents so here you want to use the same name of the intent dot you had defined here so image zero is your is going to be your intent which means that whenever you are calling a specific uh, intent this is what the function should be run so i'm going to be creating as create custom intent and I'll put some utterances so I'll put read page read first page or first page or if I say read page one so um, these are some of the sample utterances that I want to use or when the reader is going to be using and once I give out this instruction Alexa will invoke image zero intent uh, once you're done with this come down here you don't need to take 
you don't need to worry about all of these unless you're developing a full grade full-blown Alexa application but now come down to endpoints and you're going to be using HTTPS and you have to provide your own URL and for that purpose we're going to be using ngrok and this is how ngrok looks like so you want to download ngrok and it's a very easy and free web server you just need to run this program and it will create a web portal between your computer and the outside world so we can come here i have the ngrok installed i believe it is in my downloads folder here so this is ngrok and this is the file you want to run so you can open up your terminal and ngrok you want to run this executable file by dot slash ngrok https and you want to provide the port number so you want to use the port number which you used here 7045 and you want to provide that same port so that it can run on the same program I think I did a mistake here so I think it is called as ngrok http let's see if this works out what is the mistake I'm running into HTTP 80 okay so I think we have to use HTTP instead of HTTPS so what I had done here instead of HTTPS we need to do HTTP so this is running and you can see it has created a local host on 7045 and this is the outside uh, URL which you can use outside your IP outside your local domain I'm going to simply copy this domain and you want to use HTTPS not HTTP because Amazon wants to secure HTTPS and just by copying it we come back to our domain we paste it here you want to use this one and you're just defining where your Python program is residing so it's on your computer and it's available on this domain for SSL certification if you're using ngrok you want to use the this particular one where it says that your domain has a wildcard certificate from a certificate authority because that's how ngrok is cert, uh, certified and once you're done with that save endpoints come back to invocation and build your model so it's almost done at this stage we're just going to be building the model and we'll give it a few more seconds the moment i the moment these balls stop running it should be ready and while in the same time we can come down and test the services i'm going to close this down and we're going to be using this one allow we are going to be using test is disabled but we want to enable and we'll say that it's in development stage and we can start calling your skill so let's see if we say page reader it should invoke our skill there was a problem with the requested skills response so there was a problem let's see what the problem could be it is because our program is not running because you can see this one invoked and you can see bad gateway so alexa tried communicating but nothing came up because the program itself the program which we designed here it is not running so we want to run that and uh, it's here so i'll say python tesseract alexa.py so now it's running so let's go back and test it out let's see if it works now we call it page reader hi what do you want me to read so that's good so this is nothing but reading the first welcome message that we defined here so this is good now we want to provide uh, the first page so it's going to take a few seconds because it's invoking the tesseract and tesseract is doing its job of recognizing time to snuggle up tight good night so perfect so it's reading the text that we had in the image 
uh, we can come back to the program we can see how we define the image 0 and it's defining image 0 and image 1 now let's see if we can read image other images as well so we'll call we'll copy the same and we'll save it here the image 0 image first and we'll see call image 1 here and we'll define a few more let's do image second and we'll call image number two let's see image third and done we'll save it now the good thing about saving now is because since we are running in debug mode it's going to simply refresh the program and it see it's detected a change in the tesseract and it's reloading so we don't need to shut down our server and restart so this is working we come back here and we want to go back into your uh, server where you want to build and code you want to go back to your skill and define those intents so let's come here image intents we want to add a few more intents so image first i think that's what i gave here let's make sure yes image first is what we're using and we're coming here create custom intent and we'll say page two our second page all right so that's done we'll save this one and we'll add another intent we'll page image third because that's what we defined here image third yes yep so let's go back there i think i'm getting confused because i have image zero defined there but uh, in here we have to use image one because of the array notation but nevertheless uh, as long as we can provide the invocation that should be fine so we want to stay on the page we want to save the model we want to build the model we'll give it a few more seconds so that it uh, takes care of these intents so image zero image first and image uh, two a three is there so let's give it a few more seconds it should be ready now and we will come here we'll say allow and we'll open up our page reader hi what do you want me to read so we want to read second page so let's see how it comes up hop into bed snuggle cuddle perfect so this is one of the images there and now we'll write third page it's opener there in the wide open air perfect so now it means that alexa is able to read those images and text extract the text and then read it for you so with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. Hope it helps and hope it helps you give a, a platform to build more exciting applications. We're going to try one more application with text detection recognition soon. Uh, if you like these videos and if you like these projects, uh, what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment or if you have any questions about OpenCV, about computer vision, AI, machine learning, leave a comment and I'll be happy to help you. So until then, have a good day. Stay safe.